Hey folks, welcome back to another episode of iGenTech. Today I am going to show you how to run diagnostics on any helium miner even if you are not the owner of it. There are usually two common situations when you need to run diagnostics. First, if you need to figure out the local IP address of your helium hotspot so that you can use it to perform port forwarding and take it out of relay. And second, if you need to check the syncing status of your hotspot with the blockchain and sometimes the firmware version as well. So what are the things that are needed? First, you need a smartphone with the latest version of Helium app installed into it. And second, you need to be in close proximity to your Helium hotspot because uh, usually within a few meters because the Helium hotspot uses Bluetooth to connect to your phone. Step one, preparing your hotspot for running the diagnostics. So usually when the hotspot is nominally performing, the Bluetooth will be disabled, so you have to enable that. In my case, I am using the uh, RAG version 1 Helium Miner, so it doesn't have any separate Bluetooth button. But most of the newer Helium Miners have a separate uh, Bluetooth button which you have to press for several seconds to turn on the Bluetooth. You should check the manual for how many seconds you need to press it. Uh, in this case, and also same for the original Helium Miner, uh, you have to simply uh, reboot it, which means that you have to unplug it and plug it back after say 5 seconds. Uh, you can either unplug the power adapter or simply disconnect the connector from here. So I'll just disconnect it here and the red LED turns off from here and after waiting for about 5 seconds, I'll connect it back. So initially the green LED blinks for a few times, twice or thrice and then the red LED is always on, showing that it's powering up. Uh, it takes about one minute to completely uh, finish its booting. Then there comes the step number two, which is firing up your Helium app. So we will start by uh, enabling the Bluetooth connection on your phone and then start the Helium app. So you have to authenticate and you have to turn on the location so do that now i have uh, in this account there is no helium hotspot registered as i mentioned to you that you can use this method to run diagnostics on any hotspot even if you are not the owner so this is how it will look like when there is no hotspot registered to your account if your hotspot is registered it will automatically show up here so in this case we will go and click on browse network map and by default it shows you san francisco you can zoom out and go to the location of your Helium hotspot if you want, but it's not really needed. Uh, so what you can do, you can actually click on any hex here. It doesn't matter which one and it will show you which are the hotspots that are present in that hex. You can change to different uh, hotspots by clicking on uh, these hexes here. And then to start the diagnostics, you have to click on this gear icon. Uh, it doesn't matter which hex you are on, it could be any and then click on this Bluetooth pair icon and then your phone will start scanning for the Helium hotspot. It usually takes a, a few seconds to show up. So as you can see, it has now shown up, uh, uh, come up on my app. Uh, if, your, uh, if your Helium hotspot is still not ready, has not booted up completely, uh, you will see that no hotspots found or some error message like that. Then simply wait and click on scan again. So I'll select my hotspot here. And then you can see there are a few options. So saying the diagnostics, Wi-Fi network, and hotspot firmware. So I will click on diagnostics, and it will say that it's generating the report. And then you can see that uh, this is the name of my hotspot. And currently you are seeing that outbound is fine, but inbound is not okay. That is happening because I just put it up. It takes some time to show that the inbound is also fine. So if I run the diagnostic let's say after three or four minutes it will show me probably that the inbound is fine but i have checked that earlier that the inbound is also okay so then you can see that blockchain syncing status is 100 percent the hotspot maker then there are a few extra information like uh, uh, wi-fi mac address ethernet mac address disk type okay nat type unknown so usually if nat type is unknown or none you are not relayed but if the nat type is symmetric then you are relayed and then there is a ip address and the report generated time you can also click on send report to support and uh, it will show you uh, your report in a nice email format okay now a few troubleshooting points 
Let's say during the Bluetooth scan, your Helium app says no hotspots found as I am showing you on the screen. Uh, so what should you do in that case? There could be a few reasons behind it. The first is that Bluetooth is not turned on on your Helium hotspot. So let's say you press the Bluetooth button several times and even then it's not working. Then the best solution is to simply restart your miner. So unplug it, wait for 5 seconds and plug it back. And then the Helium miner takes about 1 minute to completely boot up. Also note that the Bluetooth usually stays on for about 5 minutes. So you need to scan within that window. The second reason could be that your phone is far away from the Helium hotspot. In that case, you just simply need to bring them closer and try again. And the third situation could be that during the scan, your Helium app found the hotspot, but when you click on it, it will say that something went wrong, that device is uh, disconnected or connection was lost, as I am showing you on the screen, uh, some error message like that. So you don't need to worry about uh, this error message. In that case, you have to simply try again. So basically the goal is to keep trying again and again until you succeed to run the diagnostics. Also I'd like to note that if you restart your miner and turn it off for a few seconds it's not going to hurt your syncing status. Uh, your hotspot if it was already synced to the blockchain it will stay synced as you saw in my case. And the next thing is that you might have to connect it to the Helium hotspot uh, if you need to update your Wi-Fi password. So let's say you have changed the Wi-Fi password of your router and you need to update that on your Helium hotspot, uh, you need to connect it using the Helium app then. If you are using Ethernet, you don't have to do this step. I hope this information was useful to you. That's all for today. Thanks for watching guys and get cryptonized.